Okay, anak-anak, we have come to the last part of this chapter, interest rate futures, which is arbitraging. Okay, from what you, from what you have learned, arbitraging is taking two opposite positions in two different markets. In two different markets, okay? So, sebelum ni kita belajar in FCPO and FKLI, it will involve two market, cash market and also futures market. <coughs> In FCPO and FKLI, only cash and carry arbitrage is possible for execution. Okay, saya dah ajar sebelum ni. Bila kita nak buat arbitrage in FCPO and FKLI, the futures contract must be overvalued. Kalau dia undervalued, dia tak ada masalah in the, uh, in the futures market because you can buy. The problem is you cannot sell in cash market because you do not own the underlying asset. We cannot sell something yang kita tak ada. So, In order to do arbitrage for FCPO and FKLI, kita kena dapat dulu overvalued futures contract. Undervalued futures contract will result to a reverse cash and carry arbitrage where traders need to sell in cash market. Nak kena jual dalam cash macam saya cakap tadi. Kita tak boleh jual barang kita tak ada. Alright, uh, You can buy futures contract, tak ada masalah. But sell tu. Bahagian sell in cash market is the problem. Since short selling is not allowed in the cash market. However, for FKB3, arbitrage can be done in both situation. When you calculate the futures contract, let's say you get uh, overvalued or undervalued, salah satu. Alright, You can still proceed with arbitrage. Because why? Kita kena faham molek-molek. In Clybo market, the main activities involve are what? Borrowing and lending. Dia berkisah tentang pinjam duit dan lend duit. Borrow and lend money. So, we will do both sebenarnya. Today in cash market, kita akan buat dua-dua. First and foremost, kita akan borrow jumlah, the amount of money that we borrow, we will use to lend. In the Clybo market, kita bijaklah kita borrow at one certain percentage and then kita akan Uh, labur, kita akan lend pula ha, okay, to gain interest revenue. Uh, jadi, dia tak ada masalah. Either you are, uh, you get the overvalued or undervalued futures contract. Uh, cuma perbezaan nanti, kita nak pinjam jangka pendek, jangka panjang ke or kita nak lend jangka pendek, jangka panjang ke. Uh, itu je. Okay, so let's proceed. Before we calculate the fair value of the FKB3, First, we have to calculate the implied forward rate. What is the implied forward rate? And anak, the implied forward rate is actually the expected future interest rate. Ha, jangkaan interest rate akan datang berdasarkan all the information that we have here. Okay. So, this is the formula. 1 plus I2 times T2 over 360. So, I1 and T2. I2 and T2. T2 merujuk kepada long term period of borrowing. Jadi, I2 tu adalah the borrowing and lending rate for T2 lah. Okay. T1 pula adalah short term borrowing or lending. Jadi, I1 ni merujuk kepada borrowing and lending rate for T1. And then, we also have T3 kat sini. T3 ni actually the difference between T2 and T1. Antara dua ni, long term and short term, of course lah yang short term akan matang dulu. Ha, yang long term akan matang kemudian. Jadi, yang mana matang dulu, kita akan roll over. Kita akan sambung. Okay, sama ada borrowing or lending. Alright, ha, jadi tempoh sambung itu adalah equals to uh, adalah T3 which is T2 minus T1. And for numbers of days, kita, for number of days, kita akan guna 360 days. Okay. After we get the IFR implied forward rate only, then we will calculate the fair value. How to get the uh, uh, semula? How to get the fair value? It is 100 minus IFR. Okay. If its actual market value, uh, actual or market value is significantly below ke, ataupun above the fair value ke, okay, a temporary price distortion has taken place and hence arbitrage opportunity can be created. Uh, tak kisah over value or under value, you can create arbitrage, okay, uh, strategy. So, let's say you get overpriced ataupun overvalued FKB3. Apa yang akan kita buat ni? Ni maksudnya kalau overpriced, the futures contract is high in the market. Jadi, harga dia mahal. So, we should sell the FKB3 in futures market. So, this is what we we, we are going to do in futures market. What about in cash market today? Kita akan buat dua perkara ni serentak. We will make we will make short term borrowing and long term lending. Duit yang kita pinjam ni kita akan guna untuk lend. 
in the cash market today. Okay. Later, bila futures contract tu dah matang, dalam masa yang sama, short term borrowing akan tamat. Tapi long term lending belum tamat lagi. So, what we will do, we will roll over the borrowing requirement requirement uh, upon maturity. Ha, itu kalau overpriced. What if you get underpriced FKB3? Underpriced maksudnya dia murah. So, in futures market, we will, we will buy FKB3. And today, simultaneously in cash market, kita akan buat short term juga. Kita akan buat lending and borrowing juga. Kita akan buat long term borrowing and then kita akan uh, pinjamkan uh, short term. Alright. Kita akan buat short term lending and long term borrowing. Sebenarnya kita borrow dulu. Lepas kita borrow barulah kita akan uh, bagi pinjam in the cash market today. Okay. And finally kita akan roll over lending. Kenapa? Sebab lending tu pendek je kita buat. Ha, okay. Long term tu yang panjang. So kita akan sambung lending. Alright. Requirement upon maturity. Okay, example. It's okay. It's not hard at all. Kalau kita rajin buat latihan, insyaAllah. So, consider the following situation. Today is November 2018. Okay. Alright. A trader believes that due to market volatility, there may be an opportunity for arbitrage between Clybor futures market and physical Clybor market. So, these are the information given today. Bila today kita November. Okay. Alright. Lepas tu. Dia bagi hari ni, December FKB3 berapa 96.65 or in interest rate form, dia sama dengan 3.35%. But our concern would be the price lah, 96.65. The 30 days Clybor rate, nah, this one is short term punya Clybor rate for borrowing and lending is 2.55%. This is, this is I1, this is T1. 120 days is T2, berapa pula interest untuk T2 ni 120 days, 3.5%. And later in December, maksudnya November ke December, sebulan lah. Selepas sebulan, what happened? The FKB3, December FKB3 will mature. Alright, dia cakap apa? December, Clive War Futures, December FKB3, converge with physical rate at 3.45. Okay, dia akan converge. Okay, assume that you can borrow or lend 10 million ringgit. First, explain how the dealer is able to determine whether an arbitrage opportunity exists or not. Second question, outline the transaction. The trader must take and calculate the resulting profit or loss. So to answer question one, number of contract, okay, you will uh, take 10 million ringgit divided with contract size berapa sejuta, 10 contracts altogether. To know arbitrage opportunity exists or not, the dealer will determine the fair value, whether it is fairly priced or not. So you fill in all the value in the formula, okay. Ke atas ni semua adalah I1 dengan uh, I2 and T2. I2 and T2. So the interest rate for T2 is 0. Point, uh, is 3.5 bersama dengan 0. 0.035 times 120 over 360. Lepas tu bahagi pula dengan 1 plus. Ini yang uh, 1 punya tadi I2 dengan T2. Ini adalah I1 dengan T1. Ke saya salah sebut. Kalau saya telah salah sebut maafkan saya eh. Tengok pada formula ni. Atas adalah I2 and T2. Bawah adalah I1 and T1. Okay, and then after you uh, kira yang dalam kurungan ni, you minus 1, you times 360 over 90 and then you times 100%, you will get 3.81%. So, how to get the fair value? 1 minus IFR, you will get 96.19. Itulah harga dia. You compare with the actual December FKB3, kat mana ni? 96.65 ni dia punya actual. Kita tengok-tengok, oh overpriced sebab apa actual or market value dia lagi besar daripada fair value. Bila overpriced, what should we do? We will sell. Alright, this is the outline. We will sell the future, uh, in the futures market, the December FKB3, how much? 10 contract. Okay, at 96.65. Okay, let's take a look at what happened in the cash market. Saya cakap dah tadi, kita akan buat dua-dua. Tapi disebabkan dia overpriced or overvalued, kita akan buat short term borrowing you will borrow 10 million ringgit for 30 days for short term eh 30 days at 2.55 duit yang kita pinjam tu kita akan lend hari ni juga 10 million ringgit for 120 days at 3.5% ah ha, si ah ha, itu kisah dia later selepas sebulan apa yang berlaku of course the december futures will mature bila dah mature you have to close out okay Bila close out, you will buy back the 10 
uh, December FKB tree contract at 96.55 datang mana sebab dia cakap kat sini December FKB tree will converge with the physical rate at 3.45 so in order to get the price of the futures contract you take 100 minus 3.45 you will get 96.55 okay and then in the cash market anak-anak dengar in the cash market November ke December 30 hari so meaning to say your borrowing your short term borrowing has uh, Ended already. Tapi, you borrow. Lepas tu, you bagi pinjam kan? You tak boleh bayar lagi. Sebab jumlah yang you bagi pinjam tu, you akan dapat nanti. Alright? Lagi 90 hari baru dapat. Sebab baru berlalu 30 hari. Semua sekali 120 hari. Jadi, tinggal lagi 90 hari. Ha, baru boleh bayar pinjaman. Guna duit yang dipinjam. Are you with me? So, kita sambung pinjaman. Bukan bukan kita buat pinjaman baru. We just roll over the borrowing, the 10 million ringgit for another 90 days. But in this case, kita akan guna rate baru pula. 3.45. So, roll over borrowing meaning to say you sambung the maturity, the the period all right, of your borrowing for another 90 days. Okay? So, that 90 days is actually the T3 lah. 120 days minus 30. Okay? Why roll over? Because the first borrowing has reached the maturity sebulan, one month. The lending is still ongoing, so roll over borrowing. Bila kita sambung, dia akan mature sama-sama dengan lending nanti. Okay? So, this is how to calculate your profit. In futures market, macam biasa, selling price minus buying price, time the basis point, time 10, time 25 ringgit. You will get 2,500. And then, in the cash market, first kita borrow for 30 days. So, we will calculate the interest payment. Alright, look at the uh, rate and the uh, maturity, 30 days. And then, kita lend. Alright, the 10 million ringgit pad, uh, pada 3.5% for 120 days. Ini adalah interest receipt. Kita dapat 116667. And then, we roll over pula borrowing tu for another 90 days at 3.45%. So, berapa interest kena bayar? 86,250. Uh, so, finally... Alright, you tambah semua sekali including the profit from the futures market plus minus plus minus. You end up getting gross profit by how much? 11,667. That is the first example. Okay, tengok balik video ni slow and steady. Try to redo and understand. We shall continue in video number 7.